test. Welcome to WFM Radio. This is In Between Pieces, brought to you by Writings from Michael, where I discuss entrepreneurship from the lens of an artist and business mindset. This conversation is made with love and joy for your mission, your purpose, your calling, and your journey. Welcome with love. Peace. So we're going to start this episode off with some Palo Santo burning. This is especially from Forward Space. Shout out to Forward Space, located in Soho, New York. And Palo Santo is just about, for me, this clears out the negative space, negative energy. And we're talking about a topic today just about growing, evolution, and how growing is a part of life. Oh, my God. If you can smell this through this camera, I would gladly give you this, this beautiful essence. But most importantly, I'm going to let this burn while we're just talking. Um, first and foremost, how are you doing? Episode 22, we're back in effect, man. I'm Michael G. Simpson, your host. This is WFM Radio In Between Pieces. Shout out to Junior behind the cam. And we're just continuing to go on onward. And this is all about just constant evolution, constant growth. And that's where we are right now. Constant growth, it may mean something for you than it does for me. But I think we can kind of come on this medium census of we're going to keep on going, right? We're going to keep on thriving. And two years Recently, right, when you look two years back from this date now, right, we just recorded this earlier, so we're obviously posting it later. This March 22nd, right, to be very specific, right, it's March 22nd. This time two years ago, COVID-19 was in the thrust of it, right? Things were going lockdown. We're, we're located in Los Angeles right now, so things were on lockdown. You couldn't go to a lot of uh, places and locations, right? Toilet tissue, for some reason, was being brought at a rampant speed. I don't know who was wiping their butt that much, but who knows, right? But two years ago was crazy. And to think that we're two years later, put yourself and put a pat on your back that you have grown so much since two years. Now, there may be people or, or environments that you know that have not grown, but no matter what, they're growing too. People are growing. Maybe not at the rate that you want them to grow, but people are growing just as much as the plants are around us, the air around us. Things are growing and moving. If the world grows, right, if plants are growing, if the world is becoming, you know, more evolved into a, a, a more, not to say a deeper space, but more a broad space and life is very vast, things are growing. And I want you guys to just, oh, excuse me, God, I want you to understand how much you have been through. And I, I, I've been in Los Angeles since 2015, right? I moved here 2015 from Georgia, right? I was working at a job I didn't necessarily love, but I used it as the catalyst to get here pretty much. And shout out to Apple, man, because I learned so many things working there, but I'm no longer the person I am six, seven years ago, right? It's impossible. The same soul, right? The same person within, but there's so many things along the way that I've garnered and, you know, just just grown into as a young man, right? When you think about becoming a husband, shout out to Junior, he's a husband and a father. I'm just a husband myself, but, you know, husband, father, son, friend. These are things we try to compartmentalize, but at the same time, it does make who we are. And I think as we do grow into these roles, we become ourselves growing more vast, right? When we're 17, 16, we don't, know, we don't understand the, the, the real depth of becoming these people we want to become. But in order to reach the levels we want to reach, we have to grow. It is quintessential to grow because if we don't grow, we'll be lacked in the same position we were years and years and years. And you look back when we turned 70, 80, 90 years old, what did I do with my life? What did we do with our lives? We want to live an imprint and impact. And along that way, it is about growing. I feel like even if you aren't making the money you want to make, if you're not making the connections you want to make, to me, as long as you're growing and you can see that visibly and a great sign to do this is this, like when you have, when you visit conversations that no longer feed you, we made a post a couple of days ago or now a couple of weeks ago where those you know, surface level conversations no longer feed you, right? For my soul, we need enriching conversations and that goes past financial, right? That's a huge part of it, right? Because finances, you know, I don't know how you guys were raised, but I wasn't raised with the, the greatest finances, but it takes a, 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 a level of growth to get there, right? Conversations past that. Now it's about emotional support, emotional stability. In order for me to be there for my wife, I have to grow personally. You can't be there for anyone else in your life if you're not growing, right? And that's 
if you if it, and I look at it like this, if it's not like that, it's almost like you become self absorbed, right? Because the world isn't just about I, I. We're growing for others, so we can enrich others. I mean, I remember going to the gym yesterday and having a conversation with a young brother just randomly. And sometimes the most beautiful conversations do come from strangers because there's no expectation to what you're receiving. It's just being vulnerable, right? Vulnerability is growth. When you're vulnerable, you grow. Because in order to heal things, you've got to reveal things. That's a Jay-Z bar. But in order to really reveal, right, what's inside you, you have to share, right? And that's the great thing about being an artist. And as you guys are watching this, Share your story, right? Don't be afraid to post that thing. Don't be afraid to have a conversation. Don't be afraid to look back and see how far you've come, right? I'm not a big fan of dwelling in the past of like, man, remember this time? Remember this time? Because the time, the most beautiful time we have is in this moment, right? So if I'm saying, oh, remember this? Remember this? Remember that? I got to make some new memories. You got to build some new memories. And there's so much life in front of us where we do forget that, Let's build this moment. Let's build this moment so beautiful that there's a beautiful tomorrow, right? And so we can have great memories, but there's also a great future ahead of us. And to, to and encapsulate this growing period, what we're talking about, don't be afraid to grow, right? When we're too comfortable, we don't grow. We plateau. Ooh, this is rhyming season right here. But you don't want to plateau, and then there's no longer any growth, right? Inside out, not outside in. So I can't put on new clothes and do all this and think that's growing. Growing comes from the end and then it exudes out. That's why when you say you got that grow glow or that glow grow, you, you glowing. The, gl the glow comes from within, right? And when you smile and then, and, 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 and cause I have so many thoughts at one time, the gratitude as well, right? When you're so grateful for how far you've come, like I'm, I'm going to say right now, I've come so far being in this moment, right? And just as you, as uh, much as you are, right? We've come so far. Why would I not be grateful to keep on going, right? This is onward footsteps. I mean, I really want you to understand how much growth plays into a part of artistry because it's all about feeding. And this language, it can't permeate someone's mind without it growing, right? The language, this world has to grow in order to teach it back. So I'm going to leave off with this. Let's keep on growing and not forget these small moments that give us opportunities to grow, right? When you say you want a newer car, you want, a, you want, you want more uh, depth on your podcast or you want more of this on your business, sometimes the opportunity is right in front of us to grow. And I realize that in order for us to take advantage of it, we have to be in this moment and take advantage of it and put our 150% into this moment. So we can look back and say, man, I love that, but I also love right now. And I don't love the past more than I do right now, because right now is the only moment I know that exists. So I'm going to leave you off with so much love. Keep on growing, and don't be afraid to get out of your comfort zone in order to grow. So much love to my artists out here. Much love to my entrepreneurs. Keep evolving. With much love, episode 22, we back in effect, baby. Peace. And you just listened to WFM Radio in between pieces. Please like, subscribe, download, and spread this conversation with love and joy. Keep going on your mission, your purpose, your calling, and your journey. Much love. Peace.